Hey guys, I take over a week, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Cydia Tweak IntelliScreen X. Uh, this is the sixth version of it, uh, meaning that it's for iOS 6 now. Uh, I believe if you previously purchased it, uh, like on iOS 5, it was $10 then, and now you have to pay like a $5 upgrade fee to get the sixth version of it. Um, and if you've never bought it before, you have to pay the full price uh, right now of $10. Nice thing um, with IntelliScreen X is you do get a free trial. I believe you could use it for like three days or something like that before that expires. Uh, so it's definitely nice that they include that. It is a pretty expensive city package um, just for something like that's going to tweak your device. Uh, but I can definitely say that I think it's worth it. It's definitely a great city package. Uh, you can read all about it in here and it gives you most of the details of everything you can do. Uh, and that kind of sums it up. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys uh, the video demonstration of it. The main thing it does is allow you to have uh, your notification center on your lock screen. So if we go ahead and go to the lock screen here, you can see right, right away. Um, we have my notification center on the lock screen. Normally your lock screen looks like this. Um, all you have to do is slide down and you have your, your notification center right there. That's pretty much the main feature of it, but there's tons of little things in here um, that definitely uh, make the experience of your phone a lot better. Uh, one of the main things I like of it uh, is if you can look down here in the lower right corner, um, next to your camera grabber, you have this uh, little uh, text bubble with a pencil in it and you can tap on that and write up your message right there um, It brings up like this little window pane here. Uh, and yeah, you can just type it all up in there um, And basically it just kind of lays over whatever you're doing right now um, All you have to do is hit the home button X out of that But if you do X out of it, there's no way to get that back and I'll go more into that later on But that's a nice little convenient feature there. Uh, there's also more to your notification center now uh, And this is no our main feature of the tweak. Um, like I can slide over to the right here and I have RSS feeds here um, it's not something I use that often, but you can also get mail um, in here. You can get your Twitter feed, you can get your Facebook feed. Um, you can get all of that in your notification center. Um, that's available at your lock screen um, or at your um, when you're actually unlocked. Uh, it's available here as well. And you can make that appear uh, to the left of your main notification center or to the right. Um, so it's it's your option there. You can customize that in the settings. So let's go ahead and actually head over to the settings and look at more of the things you can do with it. Uh, another thing uh, you guys may have noticed is I have this. Uh, the date here and the time I think they call this um, the ticker and you get kind of like your RSS feed here um, or your Twitter feed or whatever you have selected um, and you have the time and the date there as well but another tweak that you actually get with IntelliScreen X when you purchase it is called Messages Plus and that's kind of how I showed you um, in your notification center here how you got this little new message button there um, when it when a new text message comes in uh, you can go ahead and just tap on it and I'll try to give you an example of this if we can do this fast enough I'm gonna go to message and send myself a uh, text message uh, and you can see when it comes in here there you go there's a text message you can just tap on this message here uh, and it brings up your your entire conversation you got all of your main message features it, it's pretty much exactly how the messages app is but you do not have to exit out of what you're currently doing if I'm currently browsing Twitter um, I don't have to exit the Twitter app and go to the message app to write a message back um, it just brings down this little window here you can type up a message hit send and right when you send that message it goes away and it'll send it in the background there and then uh, there you go. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, however, one thing that's definitely a downside to this, if I'm writing up a huge detailed message or something and I accidentally hit the home button here, there's no way to get that back. That's gone. Uh, you can't go into the message app and it's not going to be in here. The only way to get it back is if that person uh, sends you a message back. So like, I'll give you an example here. If I hit send again, you know, this new message comes in. It's from that same person. Obviously, it's myself, but uh, now we got the same text here. And now I got where we left off from uh, previously. That's the only way to get that back, and it's definitely a pain. Uh, so that's something I thought was uh, worth mentioning. Uh, but the Messages Plus extension um, that comes with IntelliScreen X is definitely another great feature of IntelliScreen X. And it kind of makes that $10 price point um, feel a little bit better when you purchase it. Uh, just because you, you feel like you're getting your money's worth. Uh, there's tons of different features. Let's go ahead and go back to the settings app now. Um, you can you customize your notification center here. I uh, like with what's in there. Um, oh, that's another thing I forgot to show you guys. If you go into here and you pull down here, you get all these uh, quick setting quick setting toggles up here. Um, it gives you your memory free and your storage and all that stuff here. Uh, and you got a whole bunch of toggles right here. Um, I have my Y. It's a third party extension, but you have all your different toggles in here, and it's kind of like in a shelf they call it. Um, you can also bring this down into just your just into your normal. Um, notification center but normally it's like in the shelf up here you have to drag down for that uh, but another thing that's cool about this tweak is you can actually throw these other widgets up to like if I want to throw my stock widget up there go ahead and do that throw it in the top shelf scroll down 
And now I have, actually I did the weather apparently, but there's my weather up in the shelf now as well. So it's definitely a cool tweak. Um, plenty of different things you can do with it. I'm not going to go through everything, and I've probably already missed a couple features. Um, let's go ahead and go through a little bit more yet, though. Uh, here you can see you have your Twitter, Facebook, or Mail. Um, you, like I said, you can get all of those in your notification center as well. Show on lock screen, of course, we do want that on. That's one of the main features uh, that I like, uh, personally. You can customize the screen dim time on the lock screen, and basically you just have a ton of different options here. Uh, if I keep scrolling down, you'll see there's more and more stuff. Here's the messages extension, uh, messages plus, um, and you can just change tons of different th things in here. Uh, and then you have your help and support right here as well. And you can also restore to the default options. You can even change uh, the lock screen opacity, um, or how do you pronounce that? I think I pronounced that right. Uh, whatever. Uh, but you can change that so that that'll change um, like how solid it looks on your, uh, how transparent it is on your lock screen, I guess you could say. Um, that's pretty much what that is. Um, so you can customize that as well. But, uh, but there's just tons of different things you can do with it. Um, my two favorite things of it is just having the, the notification center on your lock screen here. And then the messages plus extension as well. Um, that's very helpful when you're texting a lot. Uh, just because you don't have to exit your app, it doesn't stop anything. If you're loading up a YouTube video, someone sends you a text, you can go to tap on that. Um, your video will continue loading in the background while you type up your message, you hit send, it goes away. And while you do all that, your video should be loaded by then. Uh, so it's very convenient in that way. And one more thing I forgot to show you guys, it's actually pretty convenient. When you slide down here, uh, you can actually tap like on your emails or if you have Twitter in here, um, you can tap on them. Uh, and then you can delete them, you can mark it as red, uh, or you can open it up in the app. With emails, you can't reply right in the app, but like with your Twitter feed and stuff, you can actually go ahead and tap on the tweet. Um, you can retweet it, you can hit reply to it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else you can do, but you can do uh, a lot of different things with them. Uh, so they're not just here for you to see, um, and it's not like the normal notification center where you tap on it, it doesn't automatically open up the mail app. Uh, so these messages and notifications in there, um, they're just more interactive now. Uh, you can also do the same thing with text messages when those come in um, in a notification center. Rather than when you tap on it, um, you can also mark those as red um, or reply to them. So everything that comes in the notification center is just kind of more um, interactive. Same thing with here. You can clear it or open it. So that's one last thing I wanted to say that I forgot about. Uh, so this is definitely a great tweak. I would um, at least tell you guys um, to go ahead and check out the free trial. Um, I'm sure you guys will like it and you'll probably um, you'll probably end up wanting to buy it. Uh, it's one of my most used tweaks on iOS, uh, so it's one I definitely recommend you guys. Um, this, this review here got pretty long. I didn't want it to be that long, but, uh, but in my reviews, I like to make them uh, very extensive and give you guys most of the information about what I'm reviewing. Uh, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, again, you can pick up this tweak in Cydia for $10. Um, if you had the previous version for iOS 5, um, you only have to pay the $5 upgrade fee to get it on iOS 6. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, if you did, I appreciate a like down below. It helps me out. If you want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And that will notify you when I release all my next videos. I'll have more tweak reviews to come in the future. Uh, and definitely more tech-based videos uh, to come as well. Most of my stuff is based on Apple, but I get uh, some Android content in there every now and then. Uh, so you guys will get all of that content if you subscribe. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you next video. See ya.